What's up everyone? Today I wanted to share an update about one of my favorite online side hustle websites and get you set up to start making money from home on your schedule. So it's been a while since I made my first video about how I've been making side hustle money with a company called Telus International. It is my most popular video so far, so definitely check it out if you have not already because it gives you a breakdown of how to start making money with Telus International. And please excuse the audio for that video. It was one of my first videos on YouTube, so it was kind of rough, but you got to start somewhere, right? Now, today I want to do my best to address some of your comments and questions about Telus International. So I'll be talking about the new AI community surfer role, my experience with the mystery shopper position, and if this platform is still worth your time. So let me know in the comments if this information is helpful. And if you find value in this content, then consider dropping a super thanks or check the links in the description for other ways to support the channel. If you can't support in that way, then hitting the like button is all you got to do. It goes a long way. So let's not waste any more time and let's go. So just really quick for anyone who isn't familiar about how to see the AI jobs that are available through Telus International. All you got to do is go to their website, tellsinternational.com, go to careers. It's going to take you to this page right here. And instead of choosing full time positions, you're going to choose AI community positions, which will then take you to this page and you're going to view open AI positions. And then once you're on this page, you can actually select your location and they have positions from anywhere in the world. So you're just going to choose what country that you're from or country that you're seeking remote jobs in. For today, I'm just going to put United States of America. And after you put that, you're just going to hit search. And then it's going to show you all the available jobs for that particular area. And then you'll see a bunch of different options that are available. So today I want to focus first on this AI community surfer position. So I tried my best to pay attention to your comments and there's been a lot of questions about this position. So let me share what I have learned so far. So the AI community surfer is actually not a new position. It used to be called the search engine evaluator. So if you've worked that position in the past, this is going to be very similar. So now let's take a moment and review the job description and then I'm going to break it down a little bit. So we're going to take a look at this position right here. Uh, we're not going to be too worried about it being Japanese or slash United States. Uh, they're all essentially going to be pretty much the same. So as far as the role, it says that you'll be evaluating different task types to research which is better or analyzing a query and selecting the most relevant response to the query. And this is a opportunity where you can earn a fixed amount for each quality task completed. Then it also says that this is a freelance flexible role and it is up to you when you work from the comfort of your own home. And then it says that this is a pay per task role. There is no set hourly rate. You determine what you earn. The amount you earn each month can vary and we cannot guarantee a set amount. So let me break down a couple things while we're here about this particular position. Just to give you an idea of the different types of tasks that you will be doing for this position. It says that one of the things that you would do is analyze a query and select the most relevant response to the query. So a query is basically what someone will type in into the Google search engine or any other search engine. It's something that me and you do on a daily basis all the time. So just to give you an example of that task, let's say someone types in the query Amazon, and now you have to select the most relevant response to the query. And your options are one, amazon.com, two, the Amazon rainforest, or three, Amazon female warriors. Now, most likely that person is looking for amazon.com. So that's just one example of a task that you would have to do is you would have to choose amazon.com as the most relevant query that that person is looking for. So these are all tasks that are being used to train AI or to make search engines even better. So a lot of people will ask about the pay per task and they wonder, is it even worth my time to even do this type of project? And my answer is that it depends. Uh, so I've done these types of pay per task roles before, and sometimes the pay rate could go anywhere from sometimes 30 cents per task or 10 cents per task or even five cents per task. It really just depends on how they set the rate. Now, it also depends on how many tasks are available. If there's a thousand tasks and you're doing as much as you can, you could actually make a decent amount of money each month. 
but if there's not a lot of tasks, then there's not really a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money. So it really depends on your time and also the task availability. So this AI community surfer role is definitely one of those things that you can sign up and check out and see if it's something that you would like. Uh, one of the pros is that it doesn't have an exam or any kind of quizzes or tests. Uh, so you can certainly sign up and then give it a try and see if it's worth your time. Now, another update that I want to give is about this virtual shopping review project, which it used to be called the mystery shopper project. So this is actually a project that I've actually done. Um, but first, let's just go ahead really quickly and go over the descriptions and the requirements. So it says that they're building a community of trusted virtual shoppers and reviewers in the US and their shoppers will purchase or imitate purchases from provided websites and evaluate their shopping experience to help us improve online purchasing for all internet users according to the guidelines provided. As far as an overview, it has two different tasks. So as a shopper, you'll need to make online purchases from provided e-commerce websites and then you need to share detailed feedback about the entire shopping experience as compared to your expectations set by the websites. And then shoppers will be provided a virtual payment method to make purchases. The other part of the project is the shopping review task. And then as a shopping reviewer, you will be asked to visit provided e-commerce websites and evaluate your experience by adding any products into the cart. As far as the pay rate, it says that you can make up to $15. And of course, this is a independent contractor opportunity. So let me share with you a little bit about my experience with this particular project. So for this project, what I had to do was actually purchase items from one of the world's largest social media platforms. And it's not really necessary to go into exactly what particular platform that is. What I can tell you, it's a platform that's used by billions of people. It's one of the largest social media platforms in the world. So once you see what it is, you won't be surprised. But the social media platform has a shop feature where you can actually purchase things right on the platform. So essentially what I had to do is buy things up front and then Telus International would reimburse me. So I can confirm that I did have to spend my own money, but I also was being paid back. Now what you do is they already have some pre-selected items. So you don't necessarily get to choose exactly what it is that you wanna buy. So for example, they might have 10 items and you go one by one and you purchase that item from the exact shop that they asked you to purchase it from. So first you just pay up front and then they're gonna ask you a couple of different questions about your experience. And then after you're done, you're gonna take photos of the receipt and you'll be able to use that receipt to then get reimbursed. Now, fast forward, once you receive the item, you'll actually have to review the entire experience and again, answer a couple of quick questions and then you'll be done. And as it says, you do get paid for that entire experience. Now, what's interesting is that you actually have the opportunity to keep the item. And so for me, what I tried to do was actually think about reselling it. And you might think about that too. That's another way to actually make a couple extra bucks as well. Uh, so one of the common questions that people usually have is, was this even worth it? And I would just say that the project really wasn't that bad. It was super easy to do. The only thing was, making sure that you are comfortable with spending your money up front and maybe even making a budget for how much you want to spend. But I will say that I was able to get reimbursed, so I never felt like I lost any money on this. And if you really wanna make some extra money, definitely think about reselling some of the items that you purchased through this project. One of the common questions is, is Tells International even still worth it to be a part of? And for me, I'll say that it definitely is. I've been a part of Telus International for the last five years, and I've been able to consistently make money doing different projects every single year. So definitely, I think it's worth checking out. And again, you have nothing to lose, and you can always check back and forth to see what projects become available and whether or not you want to stick with them. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So definitely stay tuned to the channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new remote job opportunities that I post. And again, if you want to support the channel, make sure to check out the links in the description.